Good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday. I'm going to show you what we have going on. Monday morning, Gabby is in her homeschool pose. This is her I'm hardly awake pose. Monday mornings are rough after a long weekend, huh, Gabby? <laughs> She's like just staring. I have to. Over here, we got Sophie. I have to reorganize my thing because it's all overflowing. Yeah, Sophie in the mess zone. We got Daisy eating a stuff, a spoon, a straw. Everything Another straw. We have distraction number two. Trying to get Gabby to play with her even though it's time for school. And most importantly, we got Sam over here. Sam's home today. Today is the day off. His work schedule is weird because of COVID. So yeah, that's awesome. Any day with Sam home is a good day. I didn't want to wait. So I went to dad and dad helped me. Yeah, so Sophie's like, yeah, remember I had to wait because you were working with Gabby and I hated waiting and so I went to dad and dad helped you? Yeah, so I could do the same thing today. Yeah, that's super awesome. If you're interested in our homeschool routine, how it works is that I do a little bit of cleaning, I do a little bit of organizing, I print off any worksheets that the girls need. I just get things organized in the morning and the girls have a list this long of stuff that they do every day, like copy work and some just basic handwriting, some basic math stuff, some basic stuff that they do every single day, a journal page that they write in every single day so that they do that while I'm doing all my stuff. And then when I'm all done my stuff or done enough of my stuff, we get together and we read together. This is a book of the month. Actually, the month is over. Happy February 1st. First. Um, <laughs> Sophie ordered a pop it from Amazon. I didn't check and realize it was coming from China, so it's taken forever. She's excited, but anyway, this is a book that we've been reading. We are about half almost halfway through and loving it a lot. Debbie, are you liking the book? Kind of, kind of means yes, but she doesn't want to admit it. Sophie, are you liking the book? Yeah. Puppies, are you liking? <laughs> that your owners are home 24 7. <laughs> Daisy! <laughs> so one dog is not allowed on the couch. The other dog is not allowed on the couch either, but. Molly's our tough cookie. She's the boss of our, our group. Okay, so a uh, question that's come up in the last couple of videos is how bad of an owner Daisy has and how good of an owner Molly has. So if you guys might have seen that Gabby has a video on her channel, Always Gabby, and in it she shows you some of the stuff that uh, Molly knows. Molly listens on a dime. Molly is like the best behaved dog. A lot of people were like, go get a border collie. You're gonna kill it. It's gonna be bad. Uh, but she suits our life perfectly. I knew she would. We're a high energy family. So, um, yeah, it's true. Gabby is amazing with her. She has taken her under her wings and she came home the first day she came home and she's super strict and super by the book and date Molly has one job and that is to pay attention and listen and obey Gabby and that is amazing and Gabby's done amazing work with her. Sophie's not that same kind of person. They both have good and bad things that they contribute to their puppy. And my dog Steph. Sophie and Sophie got a little bit extra work because her dog is Steph. But the what? things that you guys don't see. Go Molly, go. Yeah. Ruby, go. Good girl. So um, what you guys don't see is that for being a deaf six month old puppy, this puppy has learned a lot. She has been, she's potty trained. Sophie potty trained her. We do not potty train any of their dogs. Listen, she, she I don't want to be with you. House. Sophie taught her puppy to ring a bell when she needs to go to the bathroom. My but, dog does that too. But the biggest, yeah, like I'm not saying that Gabby didn't do oh. amazing. Gabby did amazing amazing with her puppy but Sophie is doing amazing with her puppy too and and the thing is is that they're different dogs different owners different everything like some things that you guys don't see is that um yeah, Sophie wakes up in the morning and runs downstairs and takes care of her puppy the very first thing like she is up before everybody downstairs from the very beginning feeds her puppy like her puppy has special dietary requirements she has to have water all the time she has to have water on her food all the time she has like all, she can only eat certain food she is she's a busy puppy she's into everything we don't take care of any of that. Sophie does all of it. I buy the food and Sophie manages it. Sophie's kept this puppy alive. And what else you haven't seen is that if that puppy's with us and we're all in a room and 
Daisy's laying with me on the couch and Sophie leaves the room. All of a sudden, Daisy's head pops up and she waits like three seconds and if Sophie doesn't come back, she goes. She spends all of her time, she goes to find Sophie. So Daisy spends all of her time in Sophie's room. Like, I don't know, it, they're different owners, different things, different dogs. But Sophie does a really good job. Like, I actually am shocked at how well of a job she does. When I go upstairs and my dog runs in front of me and goes all the way up to the stairs, She's like dancing at the top of the stairs, like, hi, hi, hi. My dog waits because it's hotter so too. Yeah, your dog is perfect, but I mean, it's easier to train a perfect dog. It's true. Gabby did, did amazing. Like, Gabby never let her dog out of her sight. Sophie does let her dog out of her sight. <laughs> but then it's hard for Molly to be Molly to be like a part of our family and to be as close to us because Gabby never shares her. And Daisy, Sophie shares her. I never share because you get, let her get away with crap. I know. It's true. Like, we're more easygoing. And there's there's plus and minus to all of it, you guys. Hey! Don't do that. Okay. That was, our, that was our recess break. Now we are back to school. All right. We are taking a break from homeschool to feed the baby dragon. The baby dragon. Oh, my gosh. It's the cutest thing. So, Tank is big, they hide. She's not like a proficient hunter yet. So we let her hunt. Go. The dogs always want to go in. So we let her hunt and then and then Sophie hand feeds her. It's part of their bonding. Gotta show you guys. She's a little bit of a savage right now. She cannot catch to save her life. Yeah, Sophie cannot catch crickets to save her life. So we always end up taking like a bunch of her stuff habitat out because the crickets hide. But she just waits there, all calm. Sometimes Sophie will drop one in front of her. Look at how patient she is waiting for Sophie to be able to catch a cricket. Use the other tweezers. These tweezers are fine. Okay, watch. Cheeto. Usually she eats it really fast. She might be confused because Gabby and I are right here. And you're freaking talking. And I'm talking. She's still getting used to us. Drop it in front of her and see what happens. It's because we moved. Oh, darn it, we missed it. Or she's full. Oh, she just ate it. I missed it. She's There's hiding. a cricket right there where she's lying. So Sophie's gotten her really far. Like when you first get them, they're so this afraid. Back, I you have to, yeah we, savages. yeah, we had to bond with her. <laughs> <laughs> she like grabs him, doesn't let go. So she should be hunting. She's young. She's I mean, still. She did eat three all by herself. Yeah, like getting her to like so bearded dragons. Move her so that we could actually see Sophia. She, you can't move her. Yeah, so you can you pick her up and put her? So bearded dragons actually have to feel comfortable before they will like feel safe enough to eat. Especially eat and even to sunbathe is a vulnerable thing for them. So they have to Sophie you are the worst catcher I could even catch better. Debbie, let's see you feed her. I don't want to because all of them jump on my arm <laughs> I know we hate the bugs Wow, those are a lot of crickets. Oh, don't she... feed her big ones. Remember we buy her a special size But sometimes they're big. She's trying to attack the tongs. Those are a lot of crickets Yeah, I know they're we all have... dead. Are they? They look dead. There's only a couple moving around. He's a cricket. He's a cricket. I know there's blood coming out of his butt. Come on, isn't she cute? She's missing all. Come on, she's so cute. Like, Sophie's bonded with her. We gave her a bath. I find with every single animal on Earth, you give them a bath and it bonds them to you. And most of the time it's because oh. they feel vulnerable and then you're there so they bond to you like they latch on to whoever can help them because they hate the bath she liked her bath though molly it took us three days hates me after i give her a bath yeah i know molly does hate her after she gives her a bath you know how i know because i'll be editing doo -doo 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 on the computer and all of a sudden i'll just hear something and i'll look down and she'll be hiding underneath my computer desk and i'll be like oh, what's the matter and then she'll come out and she'll be soaking wet and i'll be like oh you had a bath 
And that's the other thing. Gabby is but like, she loves water. She only likes it when she can run in after a toy and it eventually gets deep and then she swims. You put but then the, after she hates being wet. You put the water so deep that she swims? No, at the lake. Oh, okay, so. Um, at the quarry. So it's true, like, Sophie never baths her puppy, but her hot puppy is happy like that. And Gabby baths her puppy, like, every time she... <laughs> Every other day, almost like anytime no, she even. I haven't bathed her in a while. Remember, small ones. Before Did you guys know if a bearded dragon eats anything bigger than the width between their two eyes, like here, kinda on their forehead, that they can die, that it doesn't get killed all the way, so it eats from eats them from the inside, and then they get like anemic that and one bleed I killed, that internally. One. That one turn, I turn completely white. Yeah, it's awful. But anyway, yeah, we just want to share that our first few times hand feeding our bearded dragon. Hand feeding really helps to bond. Like I'm excited yeah, for her. Eventually, her. she'll be like a puppy and she'll run around with her dogs. She loves her Sophie. She sees Sophie coming at food time now, and she just runs right over and sits there and stares at her. And before, she was like terrified of us. Now they've bonded. Nothing in life is worth it without a bond. If you guys didn't get a chance to see me fainting in front of Penny yesterday, you have to watch it. It was amazing. <laughs> Gabby and I like to sit back here far from the crickets because the crickets are not our favorite. Oh, she might be full. She needs about 40 crickets twice a day. She eats about 80 crickets a day. This. She's looking the woods. Like. <laughs> oh my goodness. She is so cute, you guys. All right, so what winter in Canada is really like is that it's so cold outside that you can't like just go out there and say, oh my gosh, they're all sleeping. Yes. <laughs> they're all laying down. Oh, they're so cute. So, yeah, so uh, basically, you can't go outside in summer. You can't go outside in winter without a hundred pounds pairs of There's stuff the on. Trouble one. So I have like. Trouble. It's <laughs> spray. Trouble. Well, listen, back off, back off. Don't chase them down. I did. I made them get out of my territory. So, <laughs> so he's getting a little aggressive. So. Gabby doesn't even hang out with us anymore. She's like on a mission. Or she's frozen, which brings me back to what I was saying. I have snow pants on, a winter coat on, two pairs of socks on, mitts, hat thing. If you sat in the so car, you're sitting in the road. car and you're on your way here and you're dying of the heat. You have to leave it on. Chino is missing. Oh, you found him? Uh oh, where's Chino? So basically, walking anywhere when you're dressed like a marshmallow is uncomfortable. Oh, I see Gina. Ugh. Aww. All our boys are together. Oh my gosh, I forgot to change the battery. My battery is dying. Gina doesn't like to go. Storm's got his face stuffed in the round bale. Happy as anything. And Gina's like, <laughs> Did you see the hat? Did you see it? Yeah, he like the minute Gabby comes walking toward him, he's like, okay, I'm ready to go now. All right, so on the docket today I don't know what it is, is little Finny and big Chino. Who wants me to ride Finn? I'm getting some resistance from the day by day girls. They don't want me to ride Finn. So he says I have to lose five pounds first. I'll just, yeah. Anyways, you guys should know that I'm a safe weight for Finn. He's a big, bulky horse, and I must look better than I am. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but Chino's leg is looking really fancy and awesome. Yeah, normal. Yeah, I know. Oh, man. And his blanket is... I wonder how that happened. I'm going to have to have help putting this Well, that's probably a tall horse. They can reach that part. I'll yeah, I don't know. So his back is ripping a little bit too. So it looks like he's in the market for a new blanket. So we'll have to get that. It might seem like losing all these blankets and going through a lot of blankets each winter is like terrible. Look at that. But in reality, like every time we... This is sad. 
Oh, look at all that hair. Oh, that's too tight. <gasps> oh, yeah, he can't wear that one. Oh, that's gonna hurt him. So basically, all the broken blankets, I'm able to use all the parts for them to make our make our blankets last a little longer. What? Is he a shock? It's okay. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. He's terrified. I keep on touching him. You touch it's him. okay. Oh, it's okay, handsome. No, I'm not touching him. Brush him. I'm going to go to the washroom. It's going to take me 27 minutes, which is another thing that happens in Canada. I have like a lot of clothes on, snow pants. Like, it takes forever. It takes forever. So, we're at the barn, like at this barn, where our time is clocked because we have to share the barn with other people because of COVID. And I noticed like we come here, we jump on, we tack up, we jump on and we ride. And there's like the least, there's only a little bit of like rubbing and, and visiting and loving on our horses. But Gabby just walked by Chino and he looked at her and was like, hey, what's happening? Why are you not riding me? And you could tell that he loved her and that he was like asking her what's happening. And um, it made me realize like at home we spend way more time loving and here we spend more time riding and i'm excited for a time again like, i don't i don't know that i want to bring them home like i love this barn like you know you go to a barn and you just love it like i love this barn gabby do you love this barn no do you like the barn just not the arena mm. well anyways i love this barn so much like I love the attitude here. I love the. I love how it's laid out. I love how it looks. I love. It's not huge the arena, but I love that our horses are in a herd. Like this is the happiest our horses have ever been. They are so comfortable out there, living in a big herd. There must be safety with numbers. Is there safety with numbers? Anyway, Chino and I are having a little bit of a love moment. We're just cuddling, cuddling. See, he knows. Like he's like, okay, what's happening here? This girl is riding me. She's got all the stuff. Like, horses know so much more. Like, did you see how confused he was there for a second? Now it's Finny's turn. Finny. Let's have some love, handsome. Yeah. So Gabby's going to have a video up on her channel probably tonight. I hurt my toes. And I actually think that she did amazing in that video. It's her and Finn. And it's something that she's been working on with him. And I'm excited for you guys to see it. Sophie and I are admiring Gabby's saddle. You can't really tell very well in the... Hers in the, might be prettier, but mine's comfier. In the camera, but it's such a pretty saddle. Like, Comment below which one you would prefer if you uh, were in the market for a new saddle. Do you like this one better? This is Gabby's. It is... Uh, one thing I love about it, so say she's got like buffalo skin or whatever there and then over here it's like um i forget what it's called this stuff here is called grain i think although she's rubbed it all off it's grain and it lasts longer and i really like that so she's got these two things here she's got it looks really bad in the camera it looks gorgeous and it, like it's in great condition in real life and then on the back it says stormy night on it so, and it's got these big wide panels oh, for the yeah. horse. So that's Gabby's. So that's A or oh, B. Let me go to the other side. So hers is newer, definitely more comfy, but well, actually in the camera, it looks prettier, but Gabby's is actually prettier. So Sophie's got the same thing. And because it's newer, you can really see the grain. So the grain is just like super sturdy. When you buy a saddle for a 10 year old, you just kind of want that. She does have like a lot of the buffalo I skin. I know, but you got it when you were 10. No, I thought I got it when I was nine. Oh, you got it. I don't know. Yeah, probably. So anyway, she's got the buffalo skin, a buffalo for skin or whatever it is, or calf, Apparently baby calf. I think it's buffalo. Look, you need to oil that, so. Anyway, so this is Sophie's. This side. Plain brown, no colors. Special FX. On the back, it says special FX. And there might be that, but I didn't do that. Gabby did. So anyway, if you were gonna in the market for a new saddle, which saddle would you get? Would you get the 
A over there or the B over here. All right, we are in the arena. Um, I forgot to tell you guys that- I have so much energy. Oh gosh, too much energy means that, did you eat properly? Yeah, I had a meat sandwich. Okay, yeah, that's good. All right, we're, we're good then. Um, so uh, yesterday, Sophie and I uh, fainted in front of our horses and it was amazing. It was amazing. Gabby said she won't do it because she did it in front of Gracie before. Oh, whoops. Tell me. She <laughs> doesn't know. Uh, anyways, Gabby said she fainted in front of Gracie before and Gracie did nothing, but I feel like it could be different now because we've been doing the course. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys watch the video footage of Sophie fainting in front of Willow. Oh my gosh, yeah, I was panicked because, well, you will you guys will see. I was I, <laughs> she did not do it the way I thought she was gonna do it. And then I was afraid to like scream out and say, don't do it that way. But anyway, watch you guys that can watch that footage now. All right, so Sophie's gonna faint. You won't die, just lay down. <laughs> Who cares, you can wash yourself. Just lay down. Hi. Why would you turn your back? <laughs> it's okay. Why would you turn your back to her? What did they lick and chew? <laughs> did she try and bite you? Pickles worried. She's more of a turtle than I thought. All right, open the gate. That was funny. It is terrifying, but so like I still feel one that like I want to cry. Like it's something that I hope I'll experience again. It was something I've never experienced before in my entire life. It was so powerful, you guys. So powerful. Willow fainted. You guys. Willow's a copycat. Now she fainted. Go over and sniff her. Hold the door. Oh, too late. Yes. Mares are, this is what I love about a mare. Mares are just amazing, like. If I did it in front of Finn, he would run laps around me. Do you think Finn would run laps around you? Yeah. Do you think he'd be worried about you? No. I feel like Penny doesn't understand. Look at, she's still licking. Yeah, I don't get why they're licking too when we fall. Yeah, I don't get that either. I suspect it's like something that they're understanding. Gabby says her saddle was, was a little gross right now. Well, you'll be disappointed to know that I showed people your saddle. No, I don't ever clean it. <laughs> so she's about to clean it. Gabby is about to finally clean the saddle. I cleaned it. The last time I cleaned it was in October. Is that in October? Yeah. Not the stirrup leathers unless we want to die. You're meant to clean, you're meant to, on these, like, high-end saddles you're meant to only use the 
stuff that the company sent you? Well, the company will never know. Yeah, but it can eat the stitches. I need a new one anyways. A new saddle? Yeah, for Chino. Yeah, Chino needs a saddle. But why though? Like, he's like every other horse. He just doesn't have wide shoulders, so that's probably why. He doesn't have wide shoulders? Yeah. Storm has wide shoulders, Finn has wide shoulders. So I Chino's actually think they have normal shoulders, just Finn, like, just Chino's skinny. Thoroughbred type. So he's got thoroughbred shoulders. Yeah. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are.